Today, I'm going to show you how to program this application launchpad. You'll be able to drag multiple program files or documents from the Windows File Explorer in order to add buttons with the file name and an associated icon, and then just click the button to launch the file. I'm Hugh, and this is the third lesson in a short series about programming an application launchpad using C Sharp. Now, if you haven't watched the previous two lessons, I'd recommend that you do that now. This is the launch pad as we left it in the last lesson. In that version, I was able to drag files onto a list view and double click a file name to launch it. So, how did I get from that text based launch pad to this new one with icons and buttons? Let me quickly show you the changes I made to my design and the code I had to write. So the user interface now is pretty simple. At first sight, it may seem to be nothing more than an empty form. In fact, the form contains one control, a flow layout panel. That's a simple container which has the ability to reorganize any other controls that you place inside it. And that's handy for me because I want it to automatically organize the buttons whenever I drop some new files onto it. Now, the flow panel's flow direction property is left to right, which means that the buttons will be automatically arranged on the left and new buttons will be placed alongside. When there is no more space in a single line of buttons, then new buttons will be auto flowed onto a new line and the button layout will also be adjusted if I resize the entire window. The other properties I've had to set for this panel are dock fill so that it fills the entire form and allow drop. Well, here I've set that to true so that I can drop things onto the panel. I've also had to set up event handlers for the drag drop and drag enter events. I've explained that in previous lessons. The code for those two events is broadly similar to the code I wrote when using a list view as a drop target. Drag enter is pretty much identical, but drag drop of course now has to add a button rather than a simple file path. So it loops over the items, the file paths, supplied by the drag events object E and it calls this method add button to create and add a button for each file. Now this is my add button method. It creates a new button object, sets its size and its color and it passes out the file name from the full path. The full path could be quite long so you wouldn't want it all shown on the button. For example, if the full path happened to be C colon slash my file slash my document slash some doc dot txt, well, the path dot get file name method would pass out the file name itself. That's something dot txt. And that file name is what would be shown on the button. So you wouldn't have the full path, just the file name. But when I launch the file by clicking the button, I must have its full path. The simple file name shown on the label of the button isn't enough. So how do I store that path so that I can use it when I need to launch the file? Here I've decided to make use of the button's tag property. The tag property can contain some data about a control. And here I just use it to store the path. Next, I align the text at the bottom of the button and align its image above the text, right at the top. I get the image by extracting the associated icon using this method. I then have to convert it to a bitmap and assign it to the button's image property. Finally, I add an event handler method to run when the button is clicked. I do that by creating a new event handler, which I have named btn underscore click. I assign this using plus equals to my new button's click event handler. 
Finally, I add my new button to the controls collection of the flow layout panel. Incidentally, you may be wondering how I figured out how to do all this. Well, I took the easy way. I just looked at how Visual Studio does it. You see, Visual Studio automatically writes code to add controls to an application whenever you drag controls onto a, a form when you're designing it in the Visual Studio Form Designer. That code can be found here in the form1.designer.cs file. This shows me exactly what I need to do to create and add controls and how to set up event handlers. So if in doubt about how to create and add various controls in your own code at runtime, try it out first by dragging those controls onto a form in the form designer. Then you can take a look at Visual Studio's auto-generated code to see how it should be done. Right, getting back to my code. As I said, I add a new event handler for each button that I create whenever a new file is dragged onto the flow panel. I've called my event handler btn underscore click, and here is the event handler I've written. Notice that it has the default arguments for a click event. The sender parameter references the control that generated this event. Since I want to launch the associated file when a button is clicked, I need to call my launch file method, passing to it the path associated with the button. That path is stored in the button's tag, so I simply cast the object to a button, convert its tag to a string, and pass it to launch file. And that's really all there is to it. So, let's see it in action. First, I drag and drop some files, and a new button is created for each file, along with a label and an icon. The buttons are auto-arranged by the flow panel. And when I want to launch a file, I just click the button. OK, so now my application launchpad may seem fairly complete. But there are still a few things that I want to do. The one thing I really want to be able to do is to save the buttons so that they are reloaded whenever I rerun the Launchpad application. After all, I don't want to have to drag and drop the same groups of files every time I run this program. I want the buttons I've already created to be persisted so that they will just be there when I next run the Launchpad. I'll explain how to do that in the next lesson. To be notified whenever I upload new lessons, remember to subscribe and click the bell. And I'll see you with some more programming goodies soon.